The gender imbalance in art cannot be glossed over. How cool is this background, by the way? I got it by sitting my drone at about 300 metres, just above a thick fog blanket just before sunrise one morning last week. It's sped up to play it about four times. The systemic prejudicial gender imbalance of male-slash-female artists perpetuated in both public and private galleries could be remedied. Publicly funded galleries could sell existing artworks to fund female parody, while having a part moratorium on the purchase of male artists' work until equality is reached in, say, a maximum of 10 years' time. Fucking hell, I don't think I've ever heard one of them actually come out and demand parody. This woman is flat out saying that art galleries should stop selling art by male artists and only sell art by female artists until parity has been achieved in a maximum of 10 years. She's effectively saying, abandon a quality of opportunity, I want a quality of outcome. Ignore the quality of the art. If it has a penis, don't sell it. If it has a vajayjay, sell it. Well, in part anyway. Whatever the fuck that means. The current unfair situation has had a positive effect on my own work, leading me to make art about art itself. My piece entitled, Painting Baselit's Bottom While Singing to Our Babies, <laughs> was done last year for my exhibition of the same name at the Giedock Gallery in Karlsruhe, Germany, which is part of a national organisation of galleries and events dedicated to women artists. I don't think that separating female artists is necessarily a good thing, but Giedock did give me my first good-sized solo show, unthinkable in this country. The writing in the background says, Weapon of Mass Construction. The words Der Finanz Market come from Baselitz's penis straight to his mouth, thus making the point that the art world is more about money than art. Well, love, if you want my two cents, and you probably don't, but I'll give them to you anyway, in your case, I don't think your problem is a systemic prejudicial gender imbalance in the art world. I think it's more that your art is... How can I put this? Fucking shit ass. Now, neither tits or I are really art kind of people. The stuff we've got hanging on our walls probably seems a bit bland and lifeless to you. But we do represent a pretty wide market of art normies that galleries who like to do business want to attract. Now, I'm not saying you should be doing paintings of beaches or sluts playing the piano, but fucking hell, I can't imagine there's too much demand for a painting of some cunt doing a handstand jizzing words into his own mouth. For fuck's sake, if your idea of a good marketing strategy is to whinge and complain until art galleries stop selling paintings by men, you probably need to go back to square one and look at the quality of art you're putting out there. Just saying. 